shifting our focus now to a shocking development concerning the protest of the PFI workers against the pan-India raids that have been conducted by the central agencies, including the Enforcement Directorate and the NI. The members of the organization were seen raising anti-India slogans, but the RJD leader Shivanan Tiwari has supported the PFI workers and said that the pro-Pakistan slogans raised by the PFI was just a sign of protest and should not be seen as an anti-India move. As per reports of news agency ANI, the video is from September 23rd, where the PFI cadres can be seen raising pro-Pakistan slogans from right outside the district collector's office in Pune. PFI Dora Birot Pardasan ke Doran Pune me Pakistan Jindabad Nara Lagaga is collector can it is Rana Jo BGP Nita Mune Kaha Kichun Chun Kirke Marenge. Pagalpan Kalava Kya Pakistan Jindabad Kanara Jo a protest kai jara. As an ayo Pakistani Yoga. Lekin a protest kai jahar hai ki bay up chiara ko virut karra kin a isab jo karra. उसका हम समर्थन नहीं कर रहे हैं हम उसका विरोध कर रहे हैं और विरोध के स्वरूप जो है पाकिस्तान जिंदाबाद का नारा लगा दिया ऐसा नहीं है कि वो पाकिस्तान जाने के लिए तैयार हैं तो अभी ये तो चला जाएगा well, the BJP has slammed the insult to martyrs, saying the people behind this anti India slogan will not be spared and will soon be jailed. जंगल राज तो वापस आया ही है था जो रही सही कसर थी वो कुछ ऐसे बयानों से भी पूरी हो जाती है जो देश के अंदर बैठकर भी देश विरोधी ताकतों के पक्ष में नारे लगाने का काम करते हैं इससे बड़ा दुर्भाग्य क्या होगा इनके खिलाफ तो जो कड़ी से कड़ी कार्रवाई हो वो भी करनी चाहिए और उनको पूरे देश से माफी भी मांगनी चाहिए हमारे मां भारती के मुल्क में कुछ देशद्रोही पाकिस्तान जिंदाबाद का नारा देते हैं और इन नारों का विरोध करने की जगह आरजेडी के नेता इसका समर्थन करते हैं पाकिस्तान जिंदाबाद के नारे और आरजेडी नेताओं का समर्थन क्या हमारे फौजियों का यह अपमान नहीं है अब महाराष्ट्र की भूमि पर बदली हुई सरकार है पुरानी कांग्रेस दल और उद्धव की सरकार होती तो वे खामोश बैठते पर यह बदली हुई सरकार जिन्होंने भी यह देशद्रोही नारे दिए हैं उनको चुन चुन करके ढूंढ के निकालेगी उनकी जगह जेल की सलाहों के पीछे देखिए दिग्विजय सिंह तो हमेशा जो आतंकवादी हैं वैसे लोगों का समर्थन करने वाले लोगों में है बटला हाउस इनकाउंटर का किसने समर्थन किया था कौन था जो बटलाउस इनकाउंटर के बाद वहां गए थे और जो वहां पर आतंकवादी थे उन लोगों के समर्थन में खड़े हुए थे तो दिग्विजय सिंह का तो हाल यह है कि आज 20 साल हो गया मध्य प्रदेश की गद्दी पर दोबारा वो सत्ता नसीब नहीं हो पाए और तुलना करें आरएसएस से जिसकी देशभक्ति पर कोई अविरोधी भी उंगली नहीं उठा सकता और पीएफआई जैसा संगठन जो नरेंद्र मोदी की हत्या करने की साजिश रच रहा था उनकी सभा के अंदर तनाव पैदा करने की या हंगामा करने की साजिश रच रहा था उसके समर्थन में पीएफआई के समर्थन में बयान दे रहे देवी जय सिंह शर्म आना चाहिए Mohit Bhatt uh, is joining us live with the details on that story. Mohit, the RJD leader saying that this is just a form of protest, nothing wrong with what uh, these protesters, say, uh, protesters are saying after it's very clearly seen in the video that they're chanting pro-Pakistan slogans. Well, yes, an inquiry has been initiated by the Maharashtra police in this particular regard that the slogans were allegedly raised when the PFI uh, workers were being okay. raided and their so locations were being raided by the uh, central with us, agencies. Uh, Mohit, apologies for interrupting. We have Sunil Singh of the JDU also joining us. Uh, Sunil Singh ji, aapke neta, uh, RJD ke neta Shivanand ne kaha hai ki there's nothing wrong with it. Jo pro-Pakistan slogans mm -hmm. ye gaye the, unho ne ye kaha hai ki that's just a form of protest. Us par kya kahenge aap? Look, we go by the constitution. We don't know much about what happened and we are not whatever whatever statement has been given by our RJD leader. Hmm. I think it would be proper and better for you to seek an answer from them only. As for But you're in alliance with them. Would you want to not condemn no, it? No, uh, no, alliance, not about alliance. Uh, some, he, he, he's, he's not a spokesperson. Whatever he has said, he's liable for his... He can give the clarification on that. 
we cannot number one and number two in a democratic setup we go by the constitution we are secular country any individual has got his own right but then what is and national what is international law will take its own course we are not liable for whatever is being said by the rjd leader nor we are going by the protest whatever was done we don't know much of that whatever lawful and democratic right a citizen has if it comes within the purview purview of freedom of speech it's okay hmm. it's anti lawful law will take its own course we are not much to say Yeah. Okay, uh, Mr. Sunil Singh. Since you are from the JDU, yes. I'll ask you what the uh, stand of the JDU is. Then, if you can tell us on the pro-Pakistan slogans that were chanted by the PFI, what is the stand of the JDU? Look, our stand is very simple. We go by the constitution, and we are Khatti Indian. We are not pseudo-Indian people. Take whatever this. We are Khatti Indian. Any anti-national thing, if it is so, we are not in support of that. It should be. It should, we condemn that. But then, whatever was being said, I don't know. Somebody said something was in democratic is democratic right or not? That is for the law to decide, and within the purview of law, law will take its own course. As for us, we are Khatti Indian. We need okay, not. Okay, so then you condemn the statement uh, that was made, where irrespective of whether this leader is from RJD or Alliance or any other leader who has made it, because he is saying nothing wrong with the protest, and that's not your stand. You condemn that statement. Yeah, if it was, I think it is not within the democratic purview of the constitution. We condemn it. Okay, uh, I, I'll tell you what his statement is. After the pro-Pakistan slogans were raised, he said nothing wrong with these slogans. This is just a form of protest. So this is what he said. Do you consider it anti-India? I repeat my answer. If you ask a question even hundred times, our answer will be the same. Whatever was said by the RJD leader, we don't know. He is. He will. You can seek an explanation or clarification for him only. We are not. We are not discussing anything. And as for the protest which was there, if it was within the purview of the hmm. no, since you said right you don't know, that's why I told you clearly what his statement was, Mr. Sunil Singh. Thank you for joining us uh, with the JDU's official stand on the same. Let's get you more reactions that are coming in after Shivanand. Back the pro-Pakistan slogans now. Manoj Tiwari of the RJD saying there is provocation on both ends, refusing to call out the radicalism. Instead, saying there are uh, radical forces in every community. That's a statement coming in from Manoj Jha. Listen in. चिंता का विषय हर वो संगठन होना चाहिए जिसकी वजह से समाज में भय, खौफ और दीवारें उठती हैं. अगर इसको मूल्यांकन का आधार बनाया जाए तो मैं विजडम पे छोड़ता हूं उन लोगों के वो तय करें कि कौन से संगठन कौमो लोगों के बीच में दीवार बना रहे हैं और कौन से लोग उन दीवारों को गिराने का काम कर रहे हैं दोनों ही तरफ उकसाने की कोशिश हो रही है मुसलमानों को बल्कि दोनों क्या कहूं हर कौम में एक रेडिकल एलिमेंट आ रहा है एक रेडिकल प्रोसेस हिंदुत्व के नाम पर देखिए इधर देखिए पी का सिखों के बीच में एक छोटा तबका ही सही तो ये रेडिकलाइजेशन लोकतंत्र के लिए चिंता का विषय है वो किस दिशा से आ रहा है उसका मुल, उसके मूल्यांकन के आधार पर नहीं होना चाहिए continues to be live with us mohit the reaction coming in from the rjd and we just got a reaction from the jdu as well refusing to condemn it the jdu saying we are not aware of the exact statement that was made now we have the rjd leader manoj jha as well saying that there is provocation on both ends what is the reluctance in calling out the radicalism if they say they are not sure of the video that's another point of view but here seeing very clearly the pro pakistan slogans being given out saying there's radicalism from both sides Mohit Mohit uh, request you to unmute yourself uh, uh, before you speak up Okay all right we seem to be having technical difficulties uh, uh, with Mohit apologies for that uh, all right Mohit is back with us Mohit go ahead Well yes Pratibha can you hear me Yes please go ahead
Okay, all right. Uh, seem to be facing the technical difficulties yet again. Sincere apologies for that. I was slipping into a short break here on that note, but this is a controversy that's going to continue with the BJP already saying that this is an insult to the martyrs. Slipping into a short break here. Be right back. Stay with us.